Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a while. Uh, I just want to go over a story that exploded on Twitter last night. Uh, it ended up being a epic father-son beef. Um, so it involves Herschel Walker. He is a former American football legend, I guess. Um, and he's running for Senate, uh, trying to take out incumbent Democrat Raphael Warnock. So Walker has positioned himself as a pretty uh, far right winger um, and on the issue of abortion, um, he is anti-abortion with no exceptions. So he's taking a very uh, extreme position on the issue. So last night, and I'm going to pull it up, a the Daily Beast came out with uh, an article. Where is it? It says... Pro-life Herschel Walker paid for girlfriend's abortion. The woman has receipts and a get well card. She says the football star, now a Senate candidate, sent her. So this is one of those classic um, gotcha moments, I guess. Um, When I first saw it, I didn't think it was going to be like a huge deal. You know, I mean, right wing candidate turns out to be a hypocrite. You know, like that's not a shock to me. But I think it really took off because Herschel Walker's son, uh christian walker (laughs) if you don't know christian walker he's um i guess you can call him like a right-wing troll um he's uh he's become pretty popular uh making tiktok videos and stuff like that um and yeah he's pretty outrageous character uh very annoying um but last night he seemed to turn on his father in a series of tweets. So <laughs> let's read these. Uh, I think this is the right thread. Uh, Christian Walker. I know my mom and I would really appreciate if my father, Herschel Walker, stopped lying and making a mockery of us. You're not a family man. When you left us to bang a bunch of women, threatened to kill us, and had us move over six times in six months running from your violence. Jeez. Um, he goes on. I don't care about someone who has a bad past and takes accountability you accountability but how dare you lie and act as though you're some moral christian upright man you've lived a life of destroying other people's lives how dare you um wow so herschel walker respond i think he responded on his own and said like i still love my son or whatever so um it's pretty heavy stuff man uh and then Christian Walker, this is last night. So this morning he put out a video and we might as well just watch it and you'll see. Here's his, uh, he's got a podcast called Uncancelable, Uncancelable. Um, so, you know, what kind of guy he is. All right. So this is, uh, we might as well just watch this video. Fuck it. Um, here we go. I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom were downplayed. I stayed silent when it came out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. And you know my favorite issue to talk about is father absence. Surprise, because it affected me. That's why I talk about it all the time, because it affected me. Family values, people, he has four kids, four different women, wasn't in the house raising one of them. He was out having sex with other women. Do you care about family values? I was silent lie after lie after lie. The abortion card drops yesterday. It's literally his handwriting in the card. They say they have receipts, whatever. He gets on Twitter. He lies about it. Okay, I'm done. Done. (laughs) Everything has been a lie. And so for the right to say I'm being suspicious for saying, hey, I'm I'm done with the lies. When you all have been calling me saying, is this true about your dad? Gosh, we're not going to win Georgia, this candidate all. That's been you. You have no idea what I've been through in my life. You have no idea what me and my mom have survived. We could have ended this on day one. We haven't. I haven't told any stories. I'm just saying, don't lie. Don't lie on my mom. Don't lie on me. Don't lie on the lives you've destroyed and act like you're some moral family man. Y'all should care about that, conservatives. And then for people on the left to act as though I'm responsible for all of the things that he has done. I've talked about father episodes. I've talked about these issues because they've been close to me. Because they matter to me, because I went through it. That's why I've talked about it. So when you say, well, talk about your dad. All right. So you get the idea. Um, (laughs) It's pretty epic stuff, man. Um, So, you know, I feel like his son, like, made this a bigger story than it needed to be for Herschel Walker. But 
So the question is, is it going to, uh, is it going to affect the race? Because as of right now, that Senate race is basically tied in the polls. Um, so unfortunately I think right-wing voters are not going to turn on Herschel Walker. I they just don't care. You know, they've, they've showed, especially in the last five or so years or whatever, they don't really care about hypocrisy, you know, and you know, the Republican party itself has, They've made it, you know, they've told their voters that like voting for a Democrat is like something that you absolutely cannot do. Uh, like Democrats are so vile, you know, they call them demons and all this type of stuff. So these voters will vote for somebody like Herschel Walker just because they cannot swallow the idea of voting for a Democrat. So I don't think it's going to affect the I mean, it's not going to the story is not going to help Herschel Walker, but I'm not really certain how much it's going to hurt him. Um We'll just have to see. Elections are coming up in like 30 days. 30 days? Something like that. So that's the main story. <laughs> it's pretty wild stuff. Um, and then also something else happened t- yesterday. Uh, another Republican candidate, Dr. Mehmet Oz. A story came out before this story about Dr. Oz, which is like basically got buried. Um. Let me see if I can just pull it up here. Give me a second. Dr. Oz. <laughs> Puppies. We'll just look at this real quick. All right. Yeah. Brian Tyler Cohen. A new investigation reveals that Dr. Oz conducted studies that killed over 300 dogs, including an entire litter of puppies by injecting expired drugs directly into their hearts. <sighs> I mean, I think we all knew that Dr. Oz is just like a massive piece of shit on so many levels. But like, I mean, he literally killed puppies, man. And this story was the second biggest story about Republican Senate candidates because of the Herschel Walker hypocrisy story. So that race in Pennsylvania, John Fetterman, Dr. Oz. Fetterman's had a healthy lead in the polls, you know, over this entire thing. Uh, The polls seem to be tightening. Um, that's the thing about Fetterman is that you guys know that he, um, he had a stroke like the day before the primary this year and he's been recovering from a stroke and he, so he has trouble speaking. Um, and I've seen, I watched old speeches of his and he was never really that great on the mic, but he's having a hard time, uh, in his recovery. So he's been kind of dodging a debate with Dr. Oz, even though they are going to have the debate in a couple weeks, I think on October 25th. So I feel bad for Fetterman because it's tough to run for office while recovering from a stroke because it affects your, your speech and, you know, things like that. So I don't know. The race is tightening. I still think Fetterman's going to win, but um, we'll see. I'm going to be doing another video just like this. Uh, probably in the next week or so. Um, and I'll be doing all of my predictions on the Senate races, um, this year. So, uh, we'll see. Jesus. Dr. Oz killed puppies. Unbelievable. I mean, believable, but like Jesus Christ. Man. And there was one more big piece of news, Twitter news, the great, wonderful genius. No, that's not it. Elon Musk. I think he's actually going to buy Twitter now. I mean, I kind of stopped following the saga because he was going to buy it. And then he's trying to pull out of it, yada, yada. Um, but I was reading. Let's see if I can find it. I guess I'm not going to find anything. Oh, OK. Breaking. Elon Musk is proposing to buy Twitter for the original offer, according to people familiar with the matter. I'm So I think I don't know. He's going to buy it now. They said that he, I read somewhere he could own it by Friday of this week. So. I think he tried to pull out of it and he couldn't legally. So, um, yeah. So that's it. Herschel Walker, Dr. Roz, Elon Musk. Lots of things going on in the world, but these are the things that um, I just wanted to talk about with you guys today. So I suppose that's it. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Love you. My name is Danny. This is Body Politic Media.